Well, friends, it's a rarity. I feel like it's a rarity, at least these last several years of having snow before Thanksgiving. But here in Virginia, look what's behind me. We are having like a snowy ice storm thing today. And I am cooking up a big batch, huge, big, super mega, you know how we do it around here, of waffles that we'll be having for breakfast this morning, but they're also freezer friendly. So we're gonna do the waffles and I'm gonna share with you the waffle freezer meal directions and recipe. I'm ready, you ready to help me? You gonna help me mix up all this stuff? Sure. Okay, so here is everything we need to whip up our big old batch of our homemade waffles this morning. You ready? You ready to pour and mix and stir? No? Yes? Maybe? Got it? Okay. So, so far for our big old batch, I have added in 12 cups of flour. You can use all purpose flour or you can use whole wheat flour. You can use a combination of flours. But I've done 12 cups of all purpose flour. We've also done a dozen eggs, eight cups of milk, and right now I'm getting ready to put in four cups of oil. Last one, four. Four. Good job. So you don't have to do cinnamon waffles. It's just whether you want cinnamon or not. We're going to do cinnamon waffles. We're going to do four tablespoons of cinnamon. So Liam, I will get it ready and you put it in. Okay, so there's one. Now we are going to do eight tablespoons of baking powder. Oh, Benjamin's excited. We're going to do eight because we're making a whole lot, a lot of Okay. Oh, Benjamin, yes. Benjamin sees we're making something good. Okay, one. So I'm gonna let go. Now we're gonna put in vanilla. You can see what it smells like. Ooh. Yes, kind I'll pass it, it to you. Smells like one. soda. Now this is imitation vanilla. I have some pure vanilla from Aldi, but I wanted to use this up. And there's our cup of sugar. So now we're gonna do two teaspoons of salt. One. Okay, yeah, you wanna hold that. There you go, that will work. Two. Yay! Oh boy, Daniel, you getting excited? Uh -huh. I'm getting this mixer I'm so ready. Excited. You're so excited. This mixer has served us well. I think I got this about four years ago now. And uh, it's a KitchenAid, so it was like $29 at Walmart, but it is still, it's still holding on strong. I like to use it. Daniel Joel Paw Patrol. Now remember, don't lift it up in the air. You gotta keep it down. We're gonna start it on low. Mommy, mm -hmm. I just have a banana. You're fine, you're doing well. Okay, Dan, you gotta use two hands. Two hands. There you go. Don't drop it. Woo! You gotta put it down. Put it down. Don't pick it up. I have two waffle irons now because last time I was at Aldi and I did my Aldi grocery shopping haul, um, they had another like four waffle, four piece waffle maker that I'll show you. And then last year or year before, I got Aldi's uh, Belgian waffle Ooh. maker. This is the, the model that I got for this year. Now I got it for $19.99, but then several YouTube viewers told me that when they went into Aldi to look for it, it was $14.99. Now, Daniel, it is gonna get hot, so move your little face. And then over here, this is the Belgian waffle maker that I had got either last year or the year before. You'd have to go way back in YouTube history to see when this one was. So my plan is we'll do Belgian waffles, we'll do regular old waffles, we'll make a whole bunch, we'll eat a whole bunch, and then we're gonna freeze what's left. So it looks like step one in this uh, new <laughs> waffle maker system here. See how that says zero? Ah, I just saw that, I thought, and it's cold. Cold as ice. So uh, I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it on max. Maybe just a little bit before max. This Belgian waffle maker doesn't have, oh, it does have a heat setting on top. Well, I just always turn everything all the way up. It's just the way things go around here. Okay, so here's a little real life fail moment. I obviously, whoop, put too much batter in that waffle maker. So that's okay, mamas. We'll just have another go at it. So this one, look, there's still hope. I cleaned up the side with a washcloth. It wasn't bad as it looked. I thought we'd lose the whole waffle, but look at that. A beautiful Belgian waffle. Perfect, yum. Just need to go just a tad lighter on that. And then I'll clean that mess up here. And then this one. Yum, it told me it was ready. 
Let me see here. And so this one looks like opposite problem. I might need to put just a little bit more batter in. But I liked that one. I guess the Belgian waffle is technically four pieces. But I just liked the idea that, whew, yeah, hot, hot, hot. Of course, Jim Morrell, you're grabbing burning hot waffles. But there you go. Wa waffle stacks are going. Okay, so this one says ready. Oh, well, these turned out well. Those will taste just as well. We're going to have Naomi make hot chocolate for everyone. While I keep our waffle station a going. The kids have been woo, eating lots of waffles. I've been throwing lots of waffles around here. So here is one of the Belgian waffles all cut up and ready to go. So there is the outcome of the full mixin bowl, the Aldi waffle iron. Um, my verdict is it worked great. I will show you. It has made, this is what's left after uh, all eight kids had a ton. And it is Travis's birthday week, so we both had some waffles too, okay, okay. I didn't uh, do anything extra or special for us at this moment. And then here's the, um, the Belgian waffles that are left. So total we made about 24 of these with the new all day waffle iron. And then we made about 12 Belgian waffles. I've got my last one in here right now. Well, look at this. This is like serious going in the snow, right? So I'm letting these waffles cool. We're gonna go outside and play a little bit. We are back in now, aren't we Benjamin? Actually, Benjamin didn't go out. So you don't know what you missed. It was too cold for him. We are going to uh, bonus with our how to make and freeze waffles. <gasps> Say we're gonna make snow cream. We're gonna real quick, cause snow cream is like a five second thing. We won't do a whole video for that. Woo, 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 woo. Real quick, I wanna tell ya, uh, November 19th is the last day to get the complete large family freezer meal collection for $54 off. It's a great deal. You can get packs one through six for $35, or if you only need packs four through six, you can get those for $20. Awesome, awesome, let's make snow cream. Daniel, you wanna dump it in? I wanna. I know, you wanna do stuff too and you do. We're gonna let Daniel. Oh, oh. Woo, well, we got most of it in there. Pick up what you can on the counter here and put it in the pot. In the pot. So I'm good on my chair. That's okay. Awesome, awesome. You all are doing great. Now we are not gonna make coffee snow cream. That's what we keep the actual sugar in. Liam, look for um, a, a measuring cup. Okay, Amelia, you can do a couple shakes of cinnamon in the pot. Couple big shakes. Good job, keep going. So you see the brown, so it takes a couple shakes of cinnamon, yay. Okay, you Must close it up. You're good with that. Okay, Liam, one cup, and then close the sugar lid. And then Daniel, what? let me see this. Then we're gonna do two cups of milk, and that's it. You pour that in. Woo, one. It's and then we're gonna do one more. Benjamin's having a good old time with his toys. Okay. Now, then Amelia's gonna start stirring. Okay, now Amelia, you get to stir the pot of snow cream. With your wild hair, don't care. Hold on, Benjamin, and you're ready too. <laughs> Here, hand them to me. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there you go. You found Mama's hip. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you can add um, uh, more milk. I ended up adding another cup of milk to your snow cream, depending on the consistency that you like. But here's how it turned out in the little bowls. Is it good, Daniel? I think this is your first time having it, Daniel. Yeah. So here are the two different types of waffles. Same batter, all bagged up for the freezer. I'm going to put them in the freezer now. Of course, I'll put the date on them. So all I'm going to do, ladies, is when we want to eat these waffles, and they're frozen, I'm going to take a bag out from the freezer, put it in the refrigerator the day before, and then the morning that I need them, I will just heat them up quickly in the microwave, and we will have fresh homemade waffles, even though there's some, there are two breakfasts I have in the freezer now ready to go. This is also an example on how you can work on getting some freezer meals in your freezer even when you don't have a full freezer cooking day. I just made a lot this morning. Wish I would have had even more left, but of course I didn't. But now here I am with zero freezer meal breakfast and now I at least have two. So that's something.